the Oculus for Business Device Manager is a web-based application that runs in your browser and provides you with several administrative features for managing your Oculus for Business headsets. We recommend running it on a Google Chrome browser on a PC. Let's begin by taking a quick look at the main menu. Device Fleet provides a list of all your devices. Here, each headset is listed by its serial number. All Devices shows your headsets activated using the Device Setup app. Unconfigured Devices shows headsets that have not been activated. Apps and Networks is divided into sections. The Apps section is the central repository for all applications available to the headsets. Later, we will discuss how to assign specific applications to individual or groups of headsets for increased control. Networks is where you can add and remove Wi-Fi networks that enable headsets to connect to the internet. People is where you can add and manage persons given admin permissions that allow them to apply and change device manager settings. In order to add people, they must first be part of your workplace instance. Support is where you can access technical support information and open support requests. Device Fleet is where you can manage the configuration settings for your fleet of headsets. All Devices shows the headsets that have been activated. Unconfigured Devices shows any devices that have not been activated using the Device Setup app. To view the details about any one headset, click the serial number for that device. With the particular headset selected, you may also configure the settings, apps, and networks for an individual headset, as long as that headset is not included in a group. If the headset is part of a group, changing settings will apply changes to all the headsets belonging to that group. Under Overview, you can see some useful details about the particular headset and its hand controllers, such as its Wi-Fi network, its OS version, its battery percentage for the headset and controller. This is the way All Devices looks after groups have been created and activated headsets have been added to those groups. We recommend creating and adding headsets to groups before adjusting any settings. Doing this will make it easy to adjust the settings for several headsets simultaneously. Click a group folder to show its settings, apps, and networks for that group. Group Devices enables you to create a group of devices that all share common settings. For example, if you have different locations where each location has a different set of apps, or perhaps a set of devices that share the same network. You can create a group of devices that share common settings. From Group Devices, select Create Group. Type a group name to identify the group. Enter any descriptive details if desired, and click Create. At this point, you can add devices to the new group. From Group Devices, select a group. Check the devices you want to assign to the group, and click Assign to Group. Each headset can only belong to one group. If the headsets you are trying to move are already in a group, click Move to New Group to confirm the move. Group settings will be available once headsets are assigned to the group. Under Settings, you can turn on or off various settings. If Automatic System Updates is off, you can apply the updates on your own schedule. Turn the setting on when you are ready to receive an update. Apps that can receive automatic updates will receive the update and it will be automatically applied to all powered-on headsets connected to Wi-Fi. Guardian is the virtual barrier set by the user to create a safe area for physical movement within the space. For some applications, users are seated, so the Guardian functions may not be necessary. You may disable Guardian controls here by selecting On. Some apps do not require using the controller, such as apps that support hand tracking. In this case, you may enable controller-free mode. If you choose to require a user to type in a PIN to use VR, select the Device PIN to ON and set the PIN digits here. Set Admin PIN to ON to create a PIN. You may selectively pass this PIN to persons in an ungrouped headset or to a group to unlock additional settings within the headset. The Apps tab is where you can deploy apps to an ungrouped headset or to a group. The App Path must have previously been added to the Device Manager in the Apps section. To deploy an app to a group, click the desired group folder or individual headset. 
Click the Apps tab. Click Add. From the drop-down, select the desired app and click Add App. Click Save to save the app to the headset group. Here is where you can see any Wi-Fi networks assigned to the group or device. And here, you can add and delete networks. You can also restrict or enable the use of local networks. To add an app to the app library, click Apps. To add the internet path to an app, click Add App. Please note, you may need assistance from your software developer to complete this form properly. Give the app a name. Under App Binary, you will need to specify the internet location and file name for the app. If you need to add advanced configurations, such as OBB, you can turn this feature on here. After completing the form, click Create to add the app to the app library. The app will become available for deployment to headsets in Device Fleet Settings under the Apps tab. From the Apps tab, the app can be deployed to groups and to individual headsets that are not assigned to a group. A person listed in this section has control over the Device Manager functions and may authorize additional persons to use the Device Manager. To add a Device Manager user, click Search and begin typing a name. Matching names appear in the list. Select the desired name and click Add to Device Manager. If there is no matching name, the person first needs to become a member of your Workplace by Facebook group. Once the person is added to Workplace, their name appears in the list. You may disable an admin by selecting Disable Admin Account. For more information, visit Oculus Support.